Today we're going to try a project I've wanted to try for a while. We're going to take a couple servo motors and micro bits and we're going to make a marble labyrinth game out of cardboard and then use the servos to actually move the board up and down and use micro bits to make it all remote controlled. So one micro bit you hold in your hand and you move it one way and your labyrinth game moves that way and you can move it left and right up and down so we're gonna give that a try. Okay so I've started building my marble labyrinth game and what I'm hoping to do is hook it up to some servo motors and play it with the micro bit. Right now I've got these paint stir sticks as kinda of one of the frames so it can go up and down this way and I built my maze just with some popsicle sticks and it'll hook in here and then pivot up and down that way. Okay, so everything's attached now and so you can go up and down either direction. Um, so right now I gotta hook up the knobs so I can actually sort of control this and then I'm gonna hook those knobs up to some servo motors. Okay, so I got the marble game working. So if you check out the back when you turn the dowels, you just will loosen or tighten opposite sides so that it can turn. And you can play it, actually works. Uh, I'm not very good at it though. Okay, so I'm about to do some testing on the labyrinth game. So I've got a motor driver board here and I've got the servo motor hooked up to it and it's glued on to this dowel which controls moving back and forth like this. So we're going to flip it on. I just coded it simply. It'll turn, the servo will turn to 180 if I press A and back to zero if I press B. So we're just going to test that, see if that works. Okay, so if I press A, there it goes, B, go back, so it's working, so that's pretty exciting. So what I want to do is get the other side hooked up, and then I'm hoping I can use one micro bit and use the accelerometer on it and have it feed into, through radio signals to the micro bit hooked up to the motor driver board. And then if I tilt the micro bit, then it'll move the board. And one of the best features of this, which was actually accidental, is you can actually pull the dowel to detach it from the servo and you can level out your board. So if I need to turn it some more, I can turn it, get it in the spot I like, and then click the servo back in. So Okay, so I'm in the make code website to start coding the micro bit and we're going to code the controller first so the micro bit you're holding in your hand to control the labyrinth game so first thing we need to do is on start and i usually like to show an icon on the led display here just so that i know if i'm trying to troubleshoot that i've actually downloaded my code so if i go show icon and we'll do a check mark here. And since we're going to be using radio signals, we need to set our radio group so our two micro bits can communicate with each other. So we'll radio set group to five, and we'll do the same thing on the micro bit that's hooked up to the servo motors. Now, what we want to happen is we want the this micro bit to keep sending the x and y accelerometer data so that it can send the information when it's being tilted to the micro bit controlling the servos so we're going to go to radio and radio send value and for the name we're going to put in x so this will be our, actually we'll do Y first. This will be our Y value. And what we want it to send is 
the acceleration, we're going to have to do some math to it. So we want the servos to move from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. But the accelerometer, so if I just put the, so in input, if I put the acceleration in the Y plane. So you see when I, on the simulator, when I tilt, it gives values from negative 1023 to positive 1023. But we want the servos to move from 0 to 180. So we need the accelerometer data to match up with the servo numbers. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to add 1,023 to the accelerometer reading. And what that's going to do is just make sure that when we want our servo to be at 0, then it would be 1,000, negative 1,023 plus the 1,023. We're going to put it in here with math. So if we go to the math blocks and grab a plus sign, and drop it right in here, and put our acceleration in, and we're going to add 1023. Now the values that it's going to send to the other micro bit are going to be when it's tilted forwards like this, that's going to be zero, which is good for the servo. The servo can move to a zero degree position. But then when it's moved here, it's going to be the 1023 that's on the accelerometer plus the 1023 here. So it's going to be 20,046, which is no good. We want that to be 180. So what we're going to do is take this value and we're going to divide it by 180. Or sorry, divide it by 11.37. And that means that when we're tilted all the way back this way, that's going to be about 180, which the servo will be able to work with. So let's move this out. Go to math again, and we're going to divide. So we're going to take this, put it in here, and this number is going to be divided by 11.37. So now what's going to happen is if we're tilted all the way back this way, it's going to send a value of about 180 to the other micro bit. And if we're tilted all the way this way, it's going to send a value of zero is what we want our servo to do. We want it to move from 0 to 180. Okay, next we're going to put a pause block in here. It's just going to pause for 100 microseconds. And now we're going to do the X value. So we're going to go input, or sorry, radio. And radio send value. Name this time is X. And <clears throat> what I found is if we do the exact same thing we did here for the X, what happens is one of our servos is going to move the way we want, but the other one is going to be reversed. So we have to flip the values we're getting for this X. So to do this, we're going to get our division symbol again. And we're going to get, instead of addition this time, we're going to use subtraction. Because we have to sort of flip our values. So we'll go to math. Grab a subtraction block. And we're going to take the acceleration in X. We're going to subtract 
1,023, and divide by 11.37. <clears throat> so now what's going to happen is if we move in x, so when we're in this position, we're going to have negative 1023 take away another 1023. So we're going to be at negative 2046. And if we go this way, we'll be at zero because it'll be 1023 take away 1023. So we've divided that by 11.37, which means in this position we'll be at about negative 180. And at this position we'll be at about zero. But the servo is not going to know what to do with this negative number. So last thing we have to do is we have to get the absolute value of this. So if we go to math, there's an absolute of. And we can drag this whole thing out, put it in here. And now we've got the absolute value of all this this operation these operations here okay so one last thing we're going to do go to basic pause and pause for 100 microseconds so that's okay to download now so this is again the micro bit you're holding in your hands and it's going to be sending accelerometer data to the micro bit attached to the servo motors and we're going to do that code next. Now we are recording the micro bit that's in the motor driver board and is controlling the servos. So this one's going to take the accelerometer data and use it to control the servos. So it's taking that accelerometer data from the one we just coded. So first thing we're going to do is again I like to show an icon. So in the other one, I did a check mark. So this one, I'll do an X, just so I don't get my micro bits mixed up. And we need to set our radio group. So in the other micro bit, we set it to five. So on this one, in radio, radio set group, we gotta set this one to five as well, so they're on the same channel, and they can communicate with each other. So now what we're gonna do, we won't need this well, we can use keep this forever block here, but we're going to get under radio. We're going to get a radio received name value block. So in the other micro bit, what we coded was it was sending a value with name X and a value with name Y. So we need to receive that now. So if we go into logic, we can get an if then else block right here and go to our variables and grab a name so now what we're trying to say is actually first we'll take this out we need an equal symbol in here too so we go to logic and you can grab this equals sign equals block And we'll put the name back in there. So now what we're trying to say is if name equals, and we're going to put Y here, then we're going to set a variable that will make to the value it's receiving. So what we have to do is go into text and grab these quotation marks. So now if the name equals Y, and we're gonna write a couple of variables. So this variable we'll call the X value. Oops, that's the wrong one. So we're doing Y here, so we wanna call that Y value. To make a value, make a variable, we'll call it y value. Okay. Okay, so now if th 
the name that we're receiving from the other micro bit is y. Then we're going to set the y value to. We'll go to variables, value. So we're going to set y value to the value that it received. And we're going to do the same thing for x. So <clears throat> we're going to get another if then block. So we go to logic, if then. So if the value is not y, then it'll go down here into the else. And if, and we'll grab another equal symbol, logic equals. And variables. So now, if the name is not y, and if the name is x, so we've got to go to our text. So if the name equals x, then we're going to set x value. Set x value to the value, so whatever value it received from the other micro bit. Okay, so that's that part's done. Now we need to take these numbers that are stored as y value and x value and use those to actually move the servos. So we're going to use this forever block. And forever, all right. In advance, we'll go down to pins, servo write pin zero, and we might as well grab two of those blocks. <clears throat> so on my motor driver board, the servos are connected to pin 13 and pin 14. You can read that right off your motor driver board. It'll say P and then have a number. So these ones are pin 13 and 14. So I'll change it to pin 13 and to pin 14. And it doesn't really matter which one you connect to which, but forever we're gonna have servo, we're gonna servo write pin 13 to, and we might as well make that the Y value. So whatever the Y value is, Pin 13, will, the servo will move to that value. And we'll do the same thing. We'll put an X value in for the servo hooked up to pin 14. So that's done now and can be downloaded and tested out. Okay, the labyrinth is all hooked up. I got my two servos here. And this micro bit's hooked up to the driver board. Two servos are hooked into the driver board, and this micro bit's my remote control, so when I tilt it, the board will turn. Uh, so let's test it out, see how it's working. So I turn it on. If I turn this way, it goes up and down, can go left and right. working pretty well. So I just used popsicle sticks uh, to <coughs> popsicle sticks to get the servos attached to the actual board. Okay, let's test out the Labyrinth Marvel game made with servos and micro bits. Oh, there's death. Yeah, I think I made this thing a little too hard. Try to finesse it.
So if you're going to try this, I would definitely recommend you try a very simple board here because it takes the servos a little while to move the board up and down, so it's pretty difficult, but it does work. <laughs> 